What's up guys? It's me again. <laughs> so um, I'm doing a haul today. You know, I'm in a kind of a mood today. I guess I just want to vent and talk about it. Um, so like I'm finishing up my album, my, my fifth studio album, it, but it's the first album on Rich Hipster, right? And uh, like I've been trying to like, so we recorded all the vocals and stuff, like, I mean, all the, the music and stuff. And um, I don't know, it's just getting like kind of crazy. It's getting kind of weird. Let me start the haul. And I guess we can kind of talk about what's going on with the album while I do the haul. So I, I did all, I, I went shopping cause me and all my girls are going to Essence Fest and I'm doing like a, um, like a soft launch event um, for my new clothing line. Uh, rich hipster bell right so um we're really really excited about that but like we want to go to all the festivities and like go see all the shows and kendrick lamar is playing and uh um like scissors is gonna be there um like uh dun, 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 dun. esperanza spaulding um so i'm i'm really excited because like it's a lot of really fun eclectic acts and this is one of the first times where I'm not gonna perform I'm gonna be hosting a lot of events so anyway me and my girls are all driving over from Dallas we're gonna do like a girls road trip um, Justin might make a cameo and uh, we decided to be color coordinated so I know that's really corny but I'm such like a um, like one of those friends who like hands out an itinerary before shows and events and stuff like if we're going to like something fun like i'll bring an itinerary like if we're going to like the zoo i will like first we're going to the lion's den and then at 6 45 we have to go see the the bird um you know extravaganza or whatever so uh, 6 45 you know we have dinner at the um you know the the cockatoo pizzeria so that's what i did for this right so okay so i get i handed out a color palette i sent everybody a color palette and it's um all sorbets like all sorbets and then you can mix in denims and whites right so like you can have like a purple sorbet or an orange sorbet or you know just you know bright girly colors a nice clean palette and everyone was assigned a color so while we're being assigned our colors, me and Ashley, you guys know Ashley, my color was turquoise and Ashley's was yellow. And we were like, you know what, why don't we all just double dip in each other's colors? So I basically went and bought as many colors as I could find, um, mixed in some denim and white, and this is kind of what I came up with. So um, I went to LF stores on Larchmont. Uh, LF Larchmont is one of my favorite places to go shopping. And I got these wild fox glasses. Anybody who knows me knows I'm obsessed with heart-shaped glasses. So, okay, seriously, I mean, how exciting are these? I mean, no, come on. Purple, are you kidding? Mad excited. <laughs> so yeah, so I got these. Um, these they mix like the purple and the turquoise so i'll be stealing um didi's color which is purple and my color which is the turquoise in the middle i'm excited about these um and then of course i have my old um manolo blinix uh for my turquoise for for some stuff that i'll be wearing um so anyway so talking about the album right i recorded all of the music um at east west studios right with my boy andy and so everybody came to the studio, like Brandon on the bass, Kyle Bolton on the guitar. Justin, of course, was there with me through like so much and just supportive whenever he wasn't overseas. Marvin has been on the piano, um, Kevin Randolph. I mean, it's been like superstars of, 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 of music. Stanley Randolph on the drums. Um, I, the list goes on, like people really came through for me for this album. So all the music has been recorded. I keep going in to record the vocals and I just haven't been able to find the space, like the space, you know, the emotional, the aura, the, the actual space. So I, you guys saw my last video, like I went and did my hair different. I was like, maybe it's my hair. Maybe I gotta feel like I'm in the 70s. Maybe it's about having that long part down the middle, long share of hair. Like maybe that's the vibe. Maybe it's bell bottoms I need. Like where is this music? I can't find it. All the songs are written, but I can't find the space. Um, back to the hall. The next place I went to was Free People. I ordered from them online. And one of my favorite shoe brands is Jeffrey Campbell. And so I, I, I wanted exactly what I wanted. I didn't want any, I don't wanna take any, you know, 
shortcuts I was serious about getting this particular um, shoe and so I wanted oh, I know everybody wants gladiators right but I wanted a particular style of gladiator shoe so I guess you call this an unboxing right um, but this is the Jeffrey Campbell shoe that I wanted wait a minute wait a minute let me get the let me get the paper off I want you to get the whole you know feel and you'll see me, you know, if you come to Essence and stuff, you'll see me walking around in this stuff. You'll get to see what it looks like when I have it on. Maybe I'll do like a try-on at the hotel. I'm obsessed with um, Gladiator sandals, and I've never found the pair that I really want. But these really spoke to me. Not only do they go up your foot, right? Nice. But then they have all this extra lacing to go up your thigh so depending on the size of your um the the length of your dress or your whatever it is your, your shorts um and then i also like that it zips oh boy new stuff zips up the back so it's like it's just you know it's a really sturdy well-made hardy gladiator right it's kind of hipster but it's really clean so you know that's that's what i mean when i say rich hipster it's like yeah, it's got it's got some soul on it, but it's still got that that cleanliness to it. You know, I can't wait to till you see them on. And what I liked the most was the color because I like the way it uh, looks up against my skin. So the next place I went to was ASOS, which is one of my favorite places to order from online. I like the way they do their packaging; it's fun. I'm a packaging head. I like I like fun packaging. Um, and I wanted some like capes. Um, I needed some blue because I, you know, I wanted to stick to, at least sometimes stick to my color. Um, but one of the things I got, one of my friends are going to be really mad because it was her thing, like only she's doing on our trips. So I'm a little scared to show you this in the hall, but I'm going to show you anyway. So while I open this up, let me finish telling you what's going on with the album. So, you know, I can't find the space in my emotions or whatever to record and I'm feeling like maybe it's the room, maybe it's the studio, but it can't be because I've recorded at East West before. I have so many great memories there. I love East West Studios. So finally, I go and look up uh, some of my favorite records of, of recent. Uh, one of my favorite records of recent is D'Angelo's Black Messiah. Um, I will always love anything that Erica Badu has done. Um, Maxwell, I think is epic. So what do I do? I go and see, okay, where did they record those records and who was the engineer? I look up the engineer um, and I find his name. Um, I find uh, a really cool place where they record. Um, it's called Electric Lady Studios in New York City, um, which uh, is a really, really cool old spot. And there's this really, really cool uh, guy who works there at times on call. His name is Russell Avado. I think that's how you say his name. Anyway, we finally get him on the phone and my mom, my manager, uh, calls and tells me, Chrissy, he's listening to the music. We'll get a response tomorrow. So it's, you know, I'll find out tomorrow if he's gonna work on my record, but I'm thinking that might be the answer. Maybe it's working in a smaller, more contained space. So this album is on the way. Um, we just gotta get to the point where I feel like I can record these vocals. That's the one thing that's missing. And I think that I want to record my vocals on tape. If you don't know what that means, just cool recording vocals on tape. You know, check out a YouTube video about it. Mary J. Blige has recorded on tape. And then singers of yore, or older singers, you know, from back in the day have recorded on tape. That was kind of the way you recorded before. But it gives the vocals a nice warm sound. So I'm thinking that's what I want to do. And I'm thinking that I want to use other people to sing my backgrounds. I always do my own background vocals, except for when Neo did my backgrounds on what you do. Um, other than that, I, I always do my own background vocals. So I'm thinking I wanna invite other people to come in, my actual backup singers that sing with me on stage, Ashley, Dee Dee and Ashley, um, to come and sing uh, my background vocals. Anyway, I'm super excited about this particular jumper. And again, I can't wait till you see the Instagram pics of all this stuff because 
I have a feeling this stuff is gonna be really fun to wear. So it's a denim jumper, right? But long pencil length with a slit down the middle in the front, and then it's got a little cutout. Because I always talk about um, that one inch of fat for us curvy girls. So we all know that the sexiest part of our waist is right above our belly button and right under um, where our breasts um, begin. So that's where you want your whole curvy girl. And then, you know, you wanna be able to wear a full bra so the back has a zipper down the middle and you can wear a whole bra. So I'm very excited about my little sexy cutout uh, situation here. Um, and I think, um, I already know what shoes I'm gonna wear, but I'm thinking I might do them with something fun um, if I, if I, you know, because these are easy to walk in and, and it's turquoise, so this will be like how I add my little um, turquoise uh, color to my, my, my outfit. So yeah, uh, these little Manolos make me happy. They're really easy to walk in um, and they clean easy because they're suede. So uh, this is one of, my, one of my pieces from ASOS. Um, the second piece I got from ASOS is my nighttime piece. I think I want to wear this when I go um, see Esperanza Spalding. Uh, I love how eclectic she is, and um, I just want to be like in a fun, exciting color um, and feel really sleek and sexy at the same time because she's a jazz artist. So I want to come and be a little posh. Uh, so this is the pants suit from ASOS. I think this is so exciting. Um, it has pockets on the sides, and then my favorite part. Um, you know, of course, it's a, uh, it's got this little racer back thing happening, uh, and it's got darting in the right places so that it goes over your boobies. Uh, I, I have double Ds, so I have to make sure that there's ample coverage wherever breasts appear. Um, but on the back is where my favorite part lies. Um, it's really cool. It's got these two, um, kind of like a, if you were to have like a jumper, you know, these two panels. Um, so you can show I have uh, angel wing tattoos right there So it'll be kind of fun to show my angel wings It's got a little button so it can unbutton and then button back up when you want to close it and then a little zipper down the back So I'm really excited about this um, This particular ASOS piece uh, Especially after I iron it. I think it's gonna be really really fun to wear uh, So I'll show you how that looks um, You know during essence fest uh, on Instagram. So pay attention to Instagram during Essence because all of us are going to be playing in our clothes and having lots of fun. Okay, and then the last thing that I got from ASOS, <laughs> I'm going to wear it with uh, probably some cutoff shorts with rips in them and a little white tank and um, my new um, gladiators that I showed you. Okay, girls, I know this is a little bit funny, but it is a rainbow colored kimono, lace kimono. Um, I've got big plans for this thing. Uh, it's from ASOS. The brand is Kuchia, um, and I'm really, really excited about it because since everybody is going to be wearing all of their different colors, um, I'm going to be kind of like wearing everybody's color all at once. So no matter what anybody has on, I'll be coordinated with them. I'm so excited about this one because especially of the baby blue fringes. I know this is a little tacky. My hair is a little turquoise. It's a bit much, I'm doing the most, I know. But it's Essence Fest. You're supposed to go and play and have fun and not take yourself too seriously. Plus, I'm hosting like three parties while I'm down there. Check my Instagram, Chrisette Michelle News. Uh, all the info is gonna be there. I'm hosting three parties. I'm coming to have a good time. I don't know what y'all are coming to do, but I'm talking about bottomless mimosas and what are those other um, things called? The big blue, hurricanes, okay? I'm, I'm coming to have a, like fun, okay? So leave me in my rainbow kimono alone. We're, we're, we're coming to have a blast. And you better come and ask for pictures and stuff because I'm taking pictures with everybody. All right, so my favorite thing that I got to wear during Essence Fest is this pair of shoes. Now listen, I travel with Queen. Queen is my road manager slash homegirl. Her big special color is pink. She is on a pink shoe kick. As a matter of fact, I'm sending her a pair of uh, pink and gray Jordans right now. Um, but she's supposed to be the one who wears pink shoes. So she's gonna be a little bit upset with me when she sees that I got a pair of pink shoes. Listen, I wasn't planning on it. I was at LF stores on Larchmont and the shoe came out of nowhere, socked me in the face, hit me in the heart. I had no choice but to pick them up. Just gonna start there. I'm wearing these with bell bottoms. The unboxing. These are called Umikos. They're by Jeffrey Campbell again. Jeffrey Campbell takes the cake. 
A pink platform? Are you even kidding me? Like, how could I have left this in the store? Pink, pink suede. And these are gonna be so comfortable. And then I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear a, a bell bottom, right? So it'll be a bell bottom. And then you'll just see like from here down. So you'll think that I have this really, really high heel on when really it only feels like two inches because the platform is so huge. I, I know these are a little, you know, they're a little risky. They're a little different. I like the little three ring detail right here. You know, I think that was cool of Jeffrey Campbell. I mean, is it me or are these like so much fun? A little white bottom down there. I feel like I'm gonna wear this to see Erica Badu. I wanna, I'm gonna wear these for the Erica Badu show. So I'm not sure uh, what I'm wearing with these yet. I just know that these are gonna have a bell bottom moment. I got a pair of bell bottoms from Paige Denim. You saw them in my last video. Uh, so I'll probably put those with this. And then I haven't decided on the shirt yet. I mean, I might just not wear anything. I might just only wear these shoes. And I'm like, a tank top. I don't know. Anyway, so that was my little Essence Festival haul. Um, be sure to see me and my homegirls walking into the streets, uh, hanging out at Essence Fest. Um, we're gonna be doing a Rich Hipster Belt pre-launch uh, party. You can see uh, all that information in the description box below. Um, my favorite thing to see on YouTube is description box below. I don't know if you've noticed that. Uh, you can also find out more information about it at Chrisette Michelle News on um, Instagram. Or, or you can go to richhipster.biz slash July 4 and pick up tickets. They're only 20 bucks uh, if you buy them on my website. Uh, if you wait until uh, too late, until you get to the door, the price goes up to 50 bucks. Uh, you can also get VIP. And with VIP, you get um, uh, autographed poster, of um, my, my new single cover. You get um, a free t-shirt um, from Rich Hipster and um, you get a free specialty drink. So, and then you get to sit in VIP, which is kind of cool because the spot that we're gonna be at has a really cool VIP area. So um, yeah, be sure to uh, get your tickets and I'm performing too. I'm gonna sing a little ditty or two. Uh, with Ashley and Dee Dee. So it should be a really, really fun day. I cannot wait to get to Essence Fest the July 4th weekend. I'm gonna have as much fun as you're gonna have, so you better all have a good time together. Uh, I've already got my tickets, I've got my girls some tickets, and I've got the ill hotel stay happening. So slumber party, road trip, Essence Fest, rainbow color sorbet girls. You can call us the sorbet girls. We are the flower children. We'll have one flower crowns. Woodstocking it up at the Essence Fest 2015. Man, I hope to see you there. Peace.